What's up everybody, this is the Classic Tycoon here, and we're back for episode 9 of the Three Monkeys Park Let's Play series. Um, in the last one we built this corkscrew roller coaster, which is now up and running, and it's good to go. So, that's going to be running in the background here. Um, now, in the last one I talked about that I would like to lower the prices of my roller coasters. Um, in order to keep guests in the park, because... At the beginning of the series, I increased the roller coaster prices for the uh, the see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil, all those, and they're like eight bucks because of the excitement ratings, right? And same with Coliseum over there; uh, it's got a high excitement rating, and so guests are spending their money at such a rapid pace that they run out and then they just leave the park. So I'm going to go ahead and lower all of my roller coaster prices and for that matter pretty much all of my other highly priced rides to two dollars and you know um, we're not going to be making as much money because of that but really I'm probably only going to build one more roller coaster so I don't really need the money I just want to keep guests in the park since now we're heading toward the end of the series and the end of this scenario so I want to you know keep the guests in the park so that I don't lose this scenario which should be pretty easy um, but I like to build a lot of roller coasters so I just had high prices so that I could fund them and that's what happened so all of those are now at two dollars but let's throw in another roller coaster I want to try something here that I've never done with an inverted roller coaster and that is building um, a shuttle style and I don't even know if it's possible I probably should have just checked right here but it, I mean it worked it went backwards like that just like you can do with like a corkscrew roller coaster or with a um, well an inverted vertical shuttle but when I check it out here go into the settings um, this is where you would check it little gears there and it doesn't have a shuttle mode so just that was just something I thought I would try but it looks like it's not gonna work so I'm gonna build a small compact inverted well I'm gonna build a compact compact inverted roller coaster in this little area here between Coliseum and the corkscrew roller coaster so let's dive right into that Um, let's see, what was the last series, the last Let's Play, it was the, the lake place, <laughs> um, three, the island place, Tr Trinity Islands, that's what it's called. Um, I mentioned in that series, and I've mentioned this a lot, compact inverted roller coasters and corkscrew roller coasters, neither of them are really my, f in my, even, you know, my top favorite roller coasters to build by any means. I don't really like them that much, but you know, doing these um, Let's Plays has kind of forced me to to do them because I want to build a variety of roller coasters for you guys and it's, you know, it's kind of helped me to appreciate them a little bit more. Both of these types of roller coasters, again referring to the corkscrew and this compact inverted roller coaster, are some of the harder ones to get good excitement ratings on. And um, even though I feel like I'm making a good roller coaster, it always feels like the end result gives me a below average, you know, what I would expect from a roller coaster's excitement rating. Whereas, like, the wooden roller coasters, I can get super high excitement rating. So, you know, maybe it's just how it goes, or maybe I'm just not building them large enough because there's just not a much of a variety of what you can do with these roller coasters um, and and you can't like bank your your downhill turns and stuff like that and it just kind of makes me very cautious when I build these types of roller coasters too because I don't want to make the guests sick or any or uh, you know make the rides way too intense I always prefer and you guys probably notice I, I pretty much always prefer excitement rating to intensity rating as much as I possibly can and I will sacrifice you know 
having a super high excitement rating along with a super high intensity rating to prefer a you know a little bit lower excitement rating with a little bit lower intensity rating and these inverted roller coasters always seem to have high intensity ratings <laughs> and I think that's just the way that these roller coasters are it's the way that the game was designed so let's go and watch this thing test it is now complete You can see it's a very small roller coaster, just kind of wraps around twice and then finishes, so it's already going pretty slow on that loop, but it made it just fine. Got a nice inline twist there to fill out that last little area, and now it's going to wrap up. Go ahead and throw in some more marketing campaigns, make sure plenty of guests are coming in so we don't fail the mission. <laughs> That'd be pretty embarrassing especially since this is in a uh, tier one so 5.64 that is honestly that's a little disappointing to me um, for an excitement rating I, this roller coaster seems like it should be like a six right I don't know maybe not maybe it sucks okay so on the exit pathway here as well it's going to go over the top of one of those roller coasters. I don't know which one. but Now we've got that one built. All right, let's take a look at our guest rating here. Um, 1,283 guests. I guess that's not the rating. I guess numbers. But um, we're getting pretty close. We just need 115 more guests right now coming to the park, and it's steadily going up a little bit as I change the colors of this. Kind of looks like Spider-Man colors, but guys, give me a, um, a ride name for this one. I haven't, I haven't been asking you guys for ride names lately, and I feel like I should because you guys seem to like to name my ride, so I'll let you guys name this one, and um, we'll figure out that, but yeah, we're now approaching 1,300 guests right here, so we're going to try and make sure that we achieve this goal. I'm going to make the restrooms free. I know, being a little bit too nice to them there, but I'm going to change the restrooms to being free now. They'll also, I mean, 10 cents per restroom thing, that's not going to affect their, their, uh, your money too much but every little bit helps but you can see I'm, I'm already gaining guests and losing them at a you know much different rate and ratio than I was before the episode started because before it was like even though I had all the marketing campaigns going I was just losing guests constantly and they're just running out of money um, so hopefully again that alleviates that that I've lowered the roller coaster prices all right, guys, that's going to wrap this one up. We should be wrapping this series up in the next episode, so I will see you then.